Hello friends, I am Dr. Vijay Prakash and today I will be talking to you about abutment selection in fixed prosthodontics. Now first thing is what is an abutment? Abutment by definition is a tooth or a portion of the tooth or that portion of the implant which is used for the support of the fixed or removable prosthesis. And whenever we are selecting an abutment, it is a very critical uh, step because it is very crucial for success of the fixed uh, partial denture because uh, if you are not having a strong uh, sound periodontally sound abutment tooth then definitely you cannot have good longevity and success of the uh, fixed processes which you are giving. So abutment teeth should be strong, they should be strong enough to bear the, the functional forces which are directed not only on them but also in the area of missing teeth. So, so your abutment teeth which is which is bearing the forces of the fixed processes it is not only bearing for along the long axis of this tooth but also they need to distribute the forces in these regions also it has to support this area also where you are replacing the missing tooth where your pontic is there. So there are various criteria for selecting an appropriate abutment. Now let us see what are those criteria. One criteria is that the abutment tooth sh should not be mobile definitely because if you are having uh, mobility of the abutment tooth chances are that your fixed processes will not be lasting for a long period of time and also your fixed bridge is going to move because you are having a mobile abutment teeth. Secondly they should have a good bone support. Uh, definitely because uh, that will ensure that the abutment tooth are strong and they are able they will be able to bear the functional forces another thing is they should be having a good periodontal status periodontally uh, and the each abutment tooth should be periodontally sound there should be no signs of inflammation gingival bleeding or periodontal pockets another thing uh, the abutment teeth should have uh, should be healthy and without any inflammation as I told should not be there should not be any gingival swelling redness um, irritation in the area of uh, the abutment abutment teeth. Another thing is they should have adequate amount of coronal tooth structure another important aspect because uh, if you are not having enough of the coronal uh, tooth structure definitely you are not going to have a good uh, crown to root ratio and uh, that is very vital for success of uh, fixed processes. Another thing is uh, criteria, for such, uh, criteria for selection is that the, that the abutment teeth should be vital. Uh, if they are not vital then even a restored or endodontically, treat, uh, endodontically treated tooth can also be selected. Now there are a number of factors which influence abutment selection. The first of them is the crown root ratio. You can see that uh, the crown is the the exposed part or the that part of the tooth which is above the alveolar crest. That is the crown portion and the portion of the root which is below the alveolar crest that is the root portion. So the recommended uh, ratio between the crown and the root is uh, 2 is to 3. That means 2 part of the crown and 3 part of the root that is ideal however the uh, the minimal ratio between crown and root can be 1 is to 1 so the minimal ratio of crown is to root can be 1 is to 1 which is acceptable uh, for the abutment tooth you you may have in a clinical situation that the opposing tooth uh, which is opposing occlusion uh, to your abutment tooth can be in the form of dentures so in those cases you can also have a crown root ratio which can be greater than 1 is to 1 which can be acceptable. But always uh, the, the crown root ratio should be around 2 is to 3 if not that then 1 is to 1 and that is the minimal requirement. Now another thing which we need to understand is uh, uh, the crown root ratio also depends on the span of the uh, edentulous ridge. Because if you have longer the span, greater will be the stress on the abutment tooth because greater torquing forces will be there on the abutment tooth and for that you require a good crown root ratio that is 
the recommended ratio of 2 is to 3 is what you will be needing that and if you are not having a periodontally sound uh, or there is a bone loss of the abutment teeth then you will require additional uh, abutment teeth for 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 a good support of the fixed partial denture additional abutment teeth will uh, kind of compensate uh, for the poor crown root ratio and uh, it will be useful in in the longevity of uh, long span fixed partial dentures another factor which which affects the uh, the abutment selection is the root configuration very important factor in this definitely a uh, multi rooted posterior teeth provide will provide a better support than the, your anterior tooth which is a single rooted so because posterior teeth they have a greater surface area you have a broader occlusal table and you have a greater bone support than the anterior teeth which are single rooted so definitely if you are having a posterior tooth and uh, it can be used as an abutment it should always be used as an abutment for fixed partial denture another thing in uh, posterior teeth if you have the roots which are divergent they are much better because uh, they have a better bone support they have they provide a better support then if you have a convergent roots which you can see in the figure so uh, the posterior tooth with divergent root will provide better support uh, and will be a better abutment tooth than a posterior tooth with convergent roots or fused roots also if we see in an anterior tooth the tooth which is single rooted which is curved or irregular uh, in its configuration it would be much better in comparison to a straight conical single rooted tooth so that will provide your curved root will provide a better support and would be a better abutment tooth than your straight single uh, single rooted uh, anterior tooth another factor is the condition of the abutment tooth now healthy abutment tooth needless to say that because uh, definitely the abutment tooth which is healthy will be always be better than uh, periodontally compromised or um, those teeth which are having slight mobility so definitely the condition of the abutment tooth uh, where we will be wanting and we will be preferring those abutment teeth which are periodontally sound have a good bone support and are healthy another factor which uh, can influence abutment selection is the location of the prospective abutment now this is an important factor as the configuration and the design of the fixed processes can be planned according to uh, what is the location of the abutment tooth so if you are having a narrower dental arch that will be subjected to a great, greater leverage forces than if you have a wider arch so if you have in uh, in patients which are having a wider arch so in those cases there will be better distribution of forces then patient which are having narrow arch another factor which is very important is the angulation of the abutment tooth now uh, in 1968 jm reynolds suggested that the abutment tooth should not incline more than uh, 25 to 30 degree angulation so first of all whenever you have the abutment tooth and whenever you see tilting of the abutment tooth what you can do you have to check the angulation that is the angle of inclination of that abutment tooth and how do you do that you draw one line along the long axis of the tooth as you can see in this figure which is marked with red and one uh, line you will draw straight which is bisecting that uh, that line and that will be giving you the angle of inclination so if this angle of inclination is more than 30 degrees then that particular tooth is not suitable for uh, for your as not suitable as an abutment tooth for a fixed partial denture because if you have a severely tilted tooth then in those teeth there will be harmful talking forces which will be distributed to the tooth and it will reduce the uh, the the life of the fixed partial denture if you have done a preparation on that also with the tilt you will require uh, definitely more uh, reduction on the mesial aspect then on the distal aspect and also you may have problem with the path of insertion and maintaining parallelism between the teeth
so mesially tilted or distally tilted teeth require a separate kind of treatment and they require modification in tooth preparation we'll discuss that sometimes uh, later and uh, the situation in this can demand uh, where teeth as i told you that it will demand that you need to do a greater amount of reduction and uh, that may compromise vitality of the tooth until unless it is endodontically treated tooth uh, otherwise if it is a vital tooth it is not possible to reduce so much of tooth structure if it is endodontically treated tooth again you have to check uh, whether uh, that tooth be suitable to bear the functional forces of uh, functional forces in occlusion or not another factor is the uh, root surface area root surface area is uh, basically the perisemental area so uh, perisemental area um, whenever we talk about root surface area we we should see that the abutment teeth follows the ante's law and according to this uh, this law the total perisemental uh, surface area of the abutment teeth should be greater or equal to the teeth to be replaced so uh, whenever we are determining the abutment teeth the selection should uh, you should see that it obeys the ante's law ante's law is used as a clinical guideline to select an appropriate abutment tooth another factor which is important uh, is the rigidity of the fixed partial denture this is when you have done the preparation and when uh, you are selecting so you should select an appropriate material which is rigid so that it provides enough rigidity to bear the functional forces at the same time it should have adequate thickness so that it can bear the masticatory forces so these are all the factors which are helpful in selecting the abutment teeth in fixed partial dentures so this is all about a pre uh, presentation thank you for watching the video